but we got Josh Allen. So quite honestly, as long as we got Josh, you know, this team should just keep, keep chugging along. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have 127 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. And this channel is going to document every single day leading up to that amazing moment with the video. I'm just getting this one in under the wire. I'm releasing a, a video every single day. It's not just something I say to lead into these things. I am releasing a video every single day. And this one is just getting in under the wire, unless you're watching from the West Coast. So then in that case, I had a couple hours to spare. But anyway, I regress. I said I was gonna have a video tonight for the prediction contest for tomorrow, which I'll give you my prediction here in a moment. But comment below with your prediction if you get it exactly right, the score exactly right. I'm gonna send you a hat and a pullover. So that'll be cool. So far, I've done it for three weeks and no one has won yet. Some people have gotten pretty close, but you know, I have a feeling someone's gonna get this one. As for the game itself, I don't see the Bills struggling at all against the Steelers. I think this should be a cakewalk, quite honestly. I know it is the NFL and it, they're playing an NFL team and any given Sunday and all of that stuff has to be considered. But after considering it, I don't think the Bills are going to uh, have much trouble with the Steelers tomorrow, quite honestly. I know they've got some injuries. I know Poyer's out. I believe Tremaine Edmonds may not play, and that could be a blessing because I really want to see what this Terrell Bernard can do. We might just see what we're missing at the middle linebacker position if Terrell Bernard or the other dude, I forget his name, gets in there and plays in place of Tremaine Edmonds. I know a lot of people out there get really upset when I get down on Tremaine, but I just don't think the kid's a great kid, I'm sure. But he is just, in my opinion, just slow to reacting to the ball. That's how I feel, and I see it. I watch the games, I see it. So, you know, besides that, you know, we have a couple other injuries that we're dealing with. Jamison Crowder is out. I'm not sure if Isaiah McKenzie's gonna play. I think I think Gabe Davis is back, which is huge. I think he's maybe 100% again. But besides that, I mean, Jordan Poyer, not in the lineup. Did I already say that, Jordan, Jordan Poyer? And, you know, Christian Benford, and there's just injuries up and down the line. I do believe that Ed Oliver and Jordan Phillips might be back. So that will be gigantic. But we got Josh Allen. So quite honestly, as long as we got Josh, you know, this team should just keep keep chugging along. Just churning, churning towards that big day in Arizona when we win the Super Bowl. Leave your predictions below in the comments section. If you win, I'll send you a hat and a pullover. As for me, I see the Buffalo Bills taking down the Pittsburgh Steelers tomorrow by a final score of 39-10. to 39-10, Buffalo beats Pittsburgh. Almost game time. I'm going to go live for the game. Join me. We're going to have a lot of fun. See you tomorrow. <laughs>